Medical professionals are asking people living in affected communities to take this advisory seriously. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park joins us live in the newsroom tonight with more on the dangers of drinking the contaminated water. Jane? Well, that's right, Dave. The toxin microcystin can cause nausea, vomiting, and even serious liver damage. And boiling the contaminated tap water will only make the problem worse. The culprit behind the water advisory forcing hundreds of thousands of people to stock up on bottled water Saturday is a toxin called microcystin. Dr. Robert Sherwin of the Detroit Medical Center says it's produced naturally by algae, but human activity coupled with favorable growth conditions during the summer can make it worse. When you have too many fertilizers or manure, things like that, running off in the water, it uh, tends to allow these algae to bloom uh, more aggressively. Drinking water contaminated with microcystin can cause a number of symptoms, including nausea, vomiting, and dizziness, similar to the flu, and they can show up within hours of consumption. You may just think you have a stomach bug or ate some bad food. The toxin can also be a skin and throat irritant. Even having any contact on the skin, depending on your sensitivity, you can develop a rash and blisters in some cases. And in more serious cases, it can attack the liver. If you're exposed to it, there's, there's nothing specifically that we can do to reverse that exposure. Dr. Sherwin says anyone who's ingested or come in contact with the water should watch for symptoms before going to the emergency room and should immediately discard the water. He adds parents with children and pets should be more careful. But beyond that, it's, you know, be smart and be careful. Well, Dr. Sherwin says while there's no antidote for exposure to microcystins, people experiencing any nausea, vomiting, or dizziness from drinking the water can be treated with IV fluids or other methods. And of course, if you are having any of those symptoms, you should seek medical attention. Reporting live in the newsroom, Jane Park, 7 Action News.